Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. What's wrong with you? You look pale. I'm not sure. I feel hot and cold. When did the trouble start? I was sick most of the night. It sounds like you are coming down with the flu. Let me take your temperature. Have I got a high fever? Yes, 38.7. Do you have a headache, chest or throat pain? Yes, I have. Now, let me have a look at you. I'd like to listen to your chest. Now breathe in, a deep breath. That's it cough, now again. I want to examine your throat, too. Open wide, say, ah. Ah, ah. Yes, it does look a bit sore. Let's take an x-ray of your chest and give you a few tests. All right, thanks. The test showed nothing wrong. A slight viral infection. What shall I do today? I'm giving you some antibiotics and aspirins. Take an aspirin when you've got a fever, and take one antibiotic capsule every four hours, and go home and rest in bed for two days. Drink plenty of water, then you'll feel better. Here's the prescription. Oh, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, I have a horrible toothache. You should go to the dentist. I hate dentists. Well, suffer then. If you have a toothache, you have to go to the dentist. It always hurts. I hate going. Stop being such a baby. If it really hurts that much, just let them knock you out. Okay. Okay. I'll go. Good. You'll feel better after you do. What seems to be the problem? My stomach hurts, doctor. Has this been a problem before? Yes. For how long? I have had it on and off for the past three years. It's just gotten much worse these past two weeks. Do you only feel this way when your stomach is empty? After I've eaten, it goes away for a while. Do you feel nauseous? Yes, occasionally. Do you have regular bowel movements? I think so. Let me take a look at your abdomen. Lie down on your back and bend your knees up. Okay, relax all right. It seems like you have a duodenal ulcer, but we'll have to run some tests before I can be certain. You should get a good rest first and try not to strain your stomach too much. Is it serious? Not too serious, but it'll take you some time to recover, so you'll need to be patient. I'm very worried, doctor. I'm afraid that I'm very ill. Why do you think so? Because I feel tired all the time, even when I wake up in the morning. I find it very difficult to do any work. I have no appetite. How do you sleep? Very badly, doctor. Are you worried about anything? Well, yes, I am. I'm worried about my work. I've just taken a new job. I earn a lot of money but it's difficult work. I'm always afraid of making a mistake. Well, there's nothing much wrong with you. You're under too much pressure. You look kind of green. I don't feel so good. I am feeling sick to my stomach. Have you had anything to eat lately? I had fried shrimp and clams for lunch. Perhaps the food was bad. Perhaps, but I haven't felt well for a few days now. Has anything been upsetting you lately? 
My stress level is pretty much what as usually is. Do you think that maybe you are getting the flu? It seems to me like I may have caught a bug. Oh! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! I have a horrible toothache. I strongly urge you to change your diet. You shouldn't eat too many desserts. Nothing works with my toothache now. You should go to the dentist. I hate dentists. Well, suffer then. If you have a toothache, you have to go to the dentist. It always hurts. I hate going. Stop being such a baby. If it really hurts that much, just let them knock you out. Okay. Okay. I'll go. Good. You will feel better after you do. My, it looks too queer. Yes, it is a queer drug, a tonic only available in China. Many ancient Chinese medicine journals have recorded that it can cure such ailments as night sweat, pain at loins and knees and anemia. It has no side effect. Great. Will you please tell me how to take it? Yes, madam. Fill three or five pieces of cordyceps into a cleaned and chopped open duck's head and cook with the whole duck. Or stew cordyceps with chicken. That sounds very interesting. Please don't eat turnip and garlic when taking this medicine. Thank you very much. Recently I have been getting headache and my eyes don't seem to see focus properly. When did you last time have your eyes checked? Two years ago. At that time I had no problems. Now I can't even make out something 10 meters away. Come over here. I will test your eyes. First cover your left eye like this. And when I point, please read the chart from the top and go as far as you can. Telling me which way the E points. All right. Good. Now the other eye. Well, this one is worse. Never mind. Just read as far as you can. I can only read the first three lines. Ouch. It's unbearable. Please keep calm. I know the pain isn't what flesh and blood can stand. But be brave. All right, doctor. But it really hurts. Achoo. You've been sneezing a lot lately. Are you sick or something? No. Every springtime around April, I'm stricken with allergies. I never have seasonal allergies. Consider yourself lucky. What are all the symptoms? Well, as you just saw, I sneeze a lot. Also, my nose becomes very runny, my throat sometimes itches, and my eyes start to water. That doesn't sound good. No, it's not. So you don't have any type of allergies? Well, I have a severe allergic reaction to alcohol. It runs in the family. Everyone to some extent is allergic to alcohol. I get it pretty bad. My whole face turns red, including my ears. My eyes become bloodshot, and I start to itch all over my body. That's pretty bad. But that doesn't stop me from drinking. Ah ha ha. How do I use the powder? Please dissolve the powder in hot water. Soak your hand or foot in it for 20 minutes twice a day. How do I use the eye drop an ointment? Put the eye drop into your right eye four six times a day. One two drops each time.
Squeeze a bit of the ointment on your eyelid every night. Well, I see. Thanks. You're welcome. Good morning. What seems to be the problem? Good morning, doctor. I feel terrible. I've got a cold and I have a rash here on my neck. I'm not sleeping well either. What do you think the problem could be? I'd say you've been working too hard or are under stress for some reason. Have you been taking anything for your cold? Yes, I bought some medicine at the chemist's. I've been taking it for three days. Good. I'm going to prescribe something stronger. It will make you feel drowsy, so you certainly should rest. Okay. I can afford to take a few days off work. Have you been working hard recently? Yes, I have. I had to get a project finished. It's done now, so I can relax a little. Good. Let's take a look at that rash. It looks worse than it is. I'm going to prescribe some ointment for it. If the rash doesn't clear up in a few days, come back and see me. Do you have any other symptoms? I have a bad headache, but... Don't worry about that. It's probably of the stress you've been under. Just take some aspirin. Combined with the stronger cough medicine, it will make you feel very tired. You shouldn't work or use any equipment which requires concentration. If I were you, I'd just sleep, read a book, or watch TV. Here is your prescription. Thanks, doctor. I'll get these immediately. Goodbye. I have been having a lot of headaches lately. Have you been having these headaches for a long time? I have had headaches my whole life, but they have been getting worse lately. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? I've been under stress, but no more than usual. Have you been getting enough sleep lately? No, I only sleep a few hours a night. Have you had any head injuries lately? Yes, actually I fell skiing last week and hit my head. I am going to send you for a CT scan, and I will see you again when we see the results. What's wrong with you? I have a sore throat and headache. Do you feel tired? Yes, my whole body feels weak. And I really feel terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll have to examine you. Okay, go ahead. Open your mouth and show me your tongue. Say ah, oh, you have a bad cold. So you must stay in bed for a week. Hello. I scheduled an appointment with Dr. Smith, and I can't make it on that day. What day was your appointment on? My appointment was on Monday. What time had you chosen? It was for 10. I am looking at your appointment right now. What day would you prefer? I would prefer next Thursday. What time would be best for you? I want to come in at 2. I am writing you down for that time. We look forward to seeing you. Well, what's the matter with you? I've got a sore throat and my chest hurts. Have you got a headache? Yes, I ache all over. Are you coughing much? A little bit. Now, let me listen to your chest. Ah, you have a temperature. Breathe deeply. That's right. Well, don't worry, it's only a throat infection. There's nothing wrong with your lungs. And how is your appetite? It's gone completely. Show me your tongue, please. All right, stay in bed and keep yourself warm.
I'll prescribe some pills for you to take. Is that all, doctor? Yes. You'll be better in a few days, I'm sure. Thank you, doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi. I have a doctor's appointment scheduled with Dr. Smith, and I need to change it. What day did you have it scheduled for? My appointment was on Tuesday. What time was it scheduled for? It was for 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I see your appointment. What day would you like to switch to? I would like to switch it to next Friday. What time would you like? I would like to come in at 10. Fine. I will pencil that in right now. We will see you then. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.